Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here to talk about a subject of toxic electricity, and that is plants. And these particular plants were grown next to a utility transmitting meter called an itron 100G. And as you can see, we have some quite big differences between them, and we're going to go through them. So this is the first one. So this one was sitting directly on top of the itron 100G, and it was also inside an ungrounded Faraday cage. So let's see what growth we got coming up on this plant. So you can see that the, the new growth has got patterning in it. And this is pretty typical of what I get in my control plants now. It's about a half size leaf with patterning. And you can see it's coming up on this leaf as well. But while it was in the cage sitting on top of the Itron 100G, we're getting a very different leaf growth. So we're getting no patterning and it was somewhat glossy. You can see the same thing over here. So let's take a look at this one. So this one was sitting below the Itron 100G in the Faraday cage. So this is actually sitting on the ground. And we've got a very similar growth pattern. So you can see the new leaf that has come up. It's about a half sized leaf with patterning. But while I was in the cage with the meter, we were getting these very unusual leaf patterns coming up. And this one was somewhat unusual because instead of the patterning being very distinct, which is almost white in the middle of the leaf, it's like a two-tone green. So being subjected to the Itron 100G inside a Faraday cage affected it. So this one right here is showing the most stress of the bunch. And the interesting thing is this one wasn't inside the Faraday cage. It was outside of the Faraday cage. And this was sitting on a wall several feet away from where the Itron 100G was. And it has very, very small leaf growth, as you can see next to my hands. So there's definitely something strange going on where this plant was growing. And there's a little bit more to this story and we're gonna have to go outside to take a look at this wall to see the strange stuff that is happening in that location. So we're now outside and this was where the Itron 100G transmitting meter was installed. As you can see, I no longer have an Itron 100G. It's now a mechanical meter with no battery or electronics installed into it. But the plant that showed extensive deformity was growing right here. So it was sitting on top of this block of wood and it was next to this screen. There's an electromagnetic screen here that I put up. It's not grounded, it's just attached to the wall. And this plant showed extensive deformity. And I'm gonna show you another plant that's showing extensive deformity, and that is right here. So you can see that over here, this plant is very, very healthy. But then we come to this part of the plant and it is very, very sick. And what's going on in this location is the electromagnetic screen that I put up. So we've got this electromagnetic screen to screen the home from electromagnetic emissions from this area because we have transmitting meters in this area. And you can see where the tree is near to the screen. It's actually died. And that dieback is pretty extensive. So down here, it's actually still alive. And then as you come up, you find all this dead growth that continues the whole way up, up to the screen. And this is one of the problems with electromagnetic screening is strange things occur 
around electromagnetic screening and wireless devices. And that is evidenced in this tree. So I thought that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.